Okay, I am going to bore you guys with all the books that I have bought and not read yet. So the first one up is Predictably Irrational. I'm studying behavioral science because I want to know the dark side of marketing, you know? Not to use it or anything like that. I want to understand why people think the way that they think and make the decisions that they make. When I'm finished reading this book, I'm only going to use it for good. The second book I love is Designing Brand Identity. I think this is a great tool to help you charge 5k and up. If you can understand everything in this book and apply it to your projects, easily, easily your starting price could even be 10k. I haven't finished it but I get thoroughly excited every time I get a chance to read this book. I even have a special notebook for this book. It's that good. I actually did this as an impulse buy. So this is, this is by Brittany Wilson. And she is the founder of the company Not So CEO and Idea Girl. And her work is phenomenal. I love it. It has everything from branding foundations, your story, to research and development, to target audience, to psychographics, to branding found. It has everything. Everything that is in this book is quite <laughs> essentially in here, but in workbook form. So instead of doing what I did and buying a notebook and writing down things, she made it very simple for you to like fill it in and yes i got it she doesn't sell it like this is actually a digital product but i went ahead and got it printed at the local print shop and i got a cover for it got it laminated with binding um and i got to i was trying to do this for my own company because obviously like my brand is not really a brand yet you know it's not solidified i just got the name and I ran with it. And even though my branding looks amazing already, <laughs> I'll toot my own horn, but um, I feel like this is helping me get into the nitty gritty of things. I already know why I'm building my brand. I already know who's for, I already know my audience, I know who I serve, but this right here, okay, company of one. I was super fixated on, you know, being a company of one because I, still have in my heart i don't quite want employees i think i am just fine on contractors i don't want to worry about anything because you can get yourself in a lot of legal trouble you know just even having employees and you also have to be careful with contractors because you can't treat them as employees either so there's that the next one is designing graphic props for filmmaking i have not read this one yet shamefully but it's really cool inside like i i'm gonna take a moment at some point this year why, why you always lying <laughs> And then there's also this classic, The Designer's Dictionary of Color. I think I've gone through this book maybe twice. This one is super recent. It is um, all American ads from the 70s. I am going through a phase where I love looking at ads. And it just has a whole bunch of ads from the 70s. This book I really love because it's American Wood type and I literally only bought it because I watched that graphic design episode on Netflix. I can't remember what it is, but I'll just pop it in here. I was obsessed with this book and it's just a whole bunch of typefaces in here. It's a really great book for type inspo, in my opinion. This one I literally bought in vain. It's the 22 Immutable Laws of Branding. This is a very technical book. I have not opened this thing once, but I bought it because it went with the color scheme of my bookcase. This book, The Vanishing Half, I have heard nothing but great things about it. I'm super excited to read it. I love the color of the cover. I'm excited to read this. I heard nothing but great things about it. This book, The Artist's Way, I want to say I'm excited to read it, but at the same time I'm not because this is a book for if you lose inspiration and I hope I never do. This is an anthology of black horror stories. I've only read the first one and I have got to say, it left me feeling very uncomfortable, but it was good. So I think I might give this another shot. This was a recent purchase. I haven't read it yet, but I feel like it's good. Share something small every day. You should be, not me though. This 
this is also a recent buy so they have like texas chainsaw massacre this book was an impulse buy because i saw someone i follow on instagram with this book it actually uh goes in and talks about what some of the colors mean like for example we have the color blue that's very interesting because that is one of like my main colors for my brand and it's also the astrological sign for this color is also virgo that's very interesting and that makes sense because virgo has the sapphire maybe i've just always been attracted to blue and i just realized it just now dang maybe i should read this book well thank you guys for watching this very short video this was fun i hope you go get a book today see you in the next video bye